Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. On this lousy, rainy, cold Easter Monday, I have decided to get back into shape. I mean, I'm now 52 years old and I feel reasonably fit. I've always been going to the gym on and off all my life, practically doing some heavy lifting. And you have to be strong if you want to draw out strong, powerful, muscle-operated weapons like this slingshot. But how to get back into shape? Well, actually, um, I will go to the gym six times a week and work out really hard, only rest on the Sunday. But also, I think I have found a miracle uh, powder <laughs> that will probably and hopefully help me on the job. Remember that I visited the Gelida Corporation a while ago and did a video about the uh, ballistic gelatin that they manufacture. Um, and um, these guys invited me again just for a follow-up. And they showed me a product that I did not really take serious at, in the first place. And it's called Shape Up. Well, it's a fairly straightforward name if you ask me. And, you know, I don't really believe in all these uh, food supplements. You know, when I needed protein for working out, a good juicy steak was really all I wanted. And it worked well for me so far. So I wasn't totally impressed when they first showed me this. Um, and because there's like a million protein powders already on the market, most of them uh, milk protein, so they are actually derived from milk. But this one isn't from milk. This one actually is, is made from uh, the stuff that you don't want to eat in a piece of steak. From the stringy, tough stuff, from the skin, from the tendons, everything that you really have to chew on hard if you want to swallow it. This is stuff that we avoid altogether these days. Nobody wants to eat it. But it probably has value. Because also they gave me a link to a study conducted by the University Hospital of Freiburg, a very renowned uh, university hospital. And uh, I, I dig studies. I mean, that's what I've been doing for a long, long time, just reading studies on various issues. So uh, I, t I, t I took a look at that one and wow, that has potential. Now what did they do? Well, basically they brought together a group of 60 old men. Old man is just 20 years older than I am on average. So 65 and older and I think their average was 72 years old. And all of these men complained about a loss in strength and a loss in muscle mass and wanted to get back into shape. So um, they took these and then randomized two groups. One group was taking this and actually only 15 grams of it. This is basically a spoonful of it, full of it. No more per day. And the other part took a placebo, looked and tasted and everything was the same. And they, they actually double blinded the test. So not only did the, uh, did the old man not realize what they were getting, the real stuff or the placebo, but also the people that gave them the stuff didn't know it. It was that secret. So, um, and then they took it for 12 weeks, for a total of 12 weeks, uh, and uh, it worked out three times a week for an hour. So they all invested about 36 hours of workout, hard workout. And um, then they measured the results. The study was published in the British Journal of Nutrition, actually already in 2015. So they let them do uh, pull downs, leg press, bench press, back press, and all these things working all the major muscle groups. Um, and uh, as I said, it was just 60 minutes, three times a week, but it was fairly intense for 72 year old men on average. These guys ate just like normal. So they asked them to, of course, uh, run a protocol on what they ate. And they found that none of them had a deficit in protein. So all this was additional. They actually kicked out seven guys because they did not show up for at least 10% of the sessions. So um, that really only the people that completed the workout routine uh, were evaluated. And here is the result. The primary outcome actually was uh, fat-free muscle mass. And the fat-free muscle mass actually, of course, increased with all of them. So, I mean, if you work out like that, you always will gain muscle weight. But the people that had the placebo only gained, only gained 2.9 kilograms of uh, fat-free mass. But the people that actually had the collagen uh, gained 4.22 kilograms. So the difference was about 1.3 kilograms of uh, muscle mass that the people that had the collagen actually gained more than the others. And that's a 40% advantage. 
But that muscle was actually a lot stronger because when they did this strength comparison, of course everybody was gaining strength. But the people that had the placebo only gained only gained 7.38 newton meters of strength, whereas the people that had the collagen stuff gained 16.12 newton meters. So this means 2.2 times. So they gained 40% more muscle, but that muscle was actually more than twice as strong as the muscle that those that had the placebo gained. And also all of them lost fat. I mean, that was very respectable for people in that age group. So the people that had um, the placebo lost 3.31 kilograms of fat, whereas the people that had the uh, real stuff, the collagen, they lost 5.45 kilograms uh, of uh, fat. So imagine that, a 72 year old guy who actually just gained 4.2 kilograms of muscle and actually lost 5.45 kilograms of fat and at the same time gained a lot of muscle strength. I guess these guys felt like 20 years younger, which is exactly how old I am today. <laughs> and keep in mind all that because of like a spoonful of that powder every day within 60 minutes after the workout. It's amazing because that is only about 1.3 kilograms of the powder in total, yet they gained 1.3 kilograms in muscle mass compared to the people that had the placebo. Honestly, that certainly rivals a lot of the illegal and uh, very dangerous steroids that bodybuilders use often. And, uh, but of course I can assure you because I visited the plant, what the people at Jalina do is super clean, super healthy and <laughs> certainly not poisonous. I don't think that the guys at Jalida know what kind of product they have because they have never advertised it. There is no commercial for it, but they did put it on Amazon Germany, not on any international Amazon site. And um, the text is, what should I say, modest. <laughs> they don't even mention the study in there. Uh, and uh, I don't think that they sold a lot. When I talked to them, they had sold like maybe a dozen bottles or something like that. But, but this may well be uh, the best stuff that you can get if you want to gain muscle and you want to shy away from steroids like I do. So what I want to do is I want to do my own personal field test. That's why I will do this for eight weeks and maybe prolong it for another four weeks if the results are promising. I will take this powder and I will actually double the doses as always. Well, I mean, this is the Slingshot channel. We always double up. <laughs> and I will actually also open up a Facebook uh, group so I invite you guys to join me. You know, join me on this eight or maybe 12 weeks little thing so that we can compare our achievements. Uh, probably they don't have that many bottles available. So if you want some, you better, you better hurry up and order some. It's all expensive. It's about a bottle as, like this is about 40 euros. Now, um, I will also put up a uh, workout video every Saturday where you can also see the results that I'm getting. And uh, so this is more like a vlog on this, but I will also show you one of my uh, one of my uh, training types that I do. So I will I will show you how I deal with the individual muscle groups because I've been doing this all my life and I feel fairly confident that I found out how it works. So again, this is not a sponsored video. I actually bought these bottles, uh, and they're not giving me any money. Actually, they don't even realize that these videos are coming up. And uh, I think they will be rather surprised to see how quickly that stuff goes on their Amazon site. So come and work out with me. I really invite you cordially so that every one of us is able to draw strong muscle operated slingshots. <laughs> By the way, I will also do another AMA on Reddit. I've done one in 2013 and it was rather successful. I will do, uh, I will do one the coming Saturday, April the 22nd. Uh, on one o'clock EST. Uh, so if you want to ask me anything, <laughs> just come and, uh, and log in and, uh, and meet me there on Reddit. So let's get back into shape, every one of us. I hope you like this. Thanks and bye bye.